When an empath is very angry, these are the savage things they do to destroy the narcissist. Hey everyone, welcome. Glad you could join us. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Today, I'm going to talk about the 10 things that damaging narcissists do that drive empaths crazy. Before I get into the juicy details, I want to make it clear that the information I'm about to give is only for people who are dealing with emotional abusers who hurt and hurt others. It's not meant for people who are dealing with dangerous or possibly violent people. If you find yourself in this situation, put your safety first and get help right away from medical workers, the police or other reliable authorities. Do not put your or your loved one's safety at risk. Now that we've got that important point across, let's get down to business. You are about to learn the things that will make your narcissist extremely upset. Write down everything you need to know as I go over it. But hold on. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell before we move on to the next plan. This way, you will get weekly updates with more great tips to make your life better. First, try not to get stuck in the middle of their fights. Narcissists love chaos, drama, and being able to easily show how much they hate and feel guilty about themselves. They use their victims as emotional punching bags, and the hits they land can hurt. But what if you don't want to get involved in their fights or react personally to the things they say, like attacks, criticism or projections? How about just giving them a blank stare? You become less of an easy target if you don't get caught up in their harmful web. The narcissist will feel angry and powerless because they can't change or control you anymore, which is good for you. They won't be able to get their negative feelings out because their attempts to hurt your feelings will fail. No care for their problems, number two. Have you ever come across someone who was so caught up in their own issues, rumors, and fights that you had to wake them up? That's exactly how a narcissist goes about their life. They use different strategies to change how you see them because they want respect, control, and a position of power. But what if you don't care and act like it? What if you show them that their false views don't change the way you think, feel, or act? Just picture how confused they will be when they realize how little you care about them. Just think about how angry they will be when they can't change your mood anymore. When you are focused on living your life, reaching your goals, being happy, and taking care of your own business, they lose control over you and become crazy. So, show them that their problems, their efforts to get you to care about them, and any other tricks they use don't matter much to you. Third, show them to other people. Narcissists are very good at tricking people into believing what they want them to believe and making themselves look good. What if, though, their carefully crafted image fell apart in front of a crowd? What if you told them they were lying, exaggerating, or really not very good at what they do? Imagine the fear that flashes through their eyes when they are directly asked a question, and how they can't answer without giving away who they really are. Think about how upset they are when their flaws or mistakes are shown to everyone. In this way, you take away their power over you and show them as they really are. You and everyone else can no longer be fooled or tricked by them because everyone can see their real character. So, don't be afraid to talk to them directly. Show them what they're really like in public and refuse to put up with their lies and schemes. Don't back down. Let them know you can see through their tricks and lies. 4. Let them know who they really are. What would happen if you stopped believing their complicated web of lies and told them who they really were? What if you weren't going to believe their lies and let them control you any longer? You're basically telling them, I see through your lies and manipulative tactics, when you question their feelings and personal stories. You show that you won't let them trick you and that you can figure out what they really want. But how are you going to do this? When you hear a narcissist 
talking badly about someone or making up a story to make you feel sorry for them, don't be afraid to question their story and let them know that you will not let their lies go unchecked. Their game is thrown off because you are no longer playing, leaving them unsure of how to move forward. Number five, show that you don't respect them. What would happen if you treated them badly the way they treat you badly? What if you ignored them and made them feel like they didn't matter? Being rude and disrespectful to narcissists is a strong way to get back at them. By acting the same way they do, you show that you will no longer let them control or hurt you. You will no longer put up with their complaints or judgments. But how are you going to do this? First, don't let them take over the talk or make you feel bad about yourself. Stay strong and don't back down from challenges. Let them know that you won't stand for their selfish behavior and that their efforts to scare you will no longer work. Six, ignore the fact that they exist. Say you laughed or gave them a look that said, you can't be serious in response to their attempts to trick you. Not paying attention to them can weaken them. You are not giving them the attention and respect they want by not taking their selfish behavior seriously. Their lies and tricks have no effect on you because you show them that. Do so carefully though and watch how they respond. When they make up complicated details and add to their stories, they might lose it when their efforts to trick others don't work. Seventh, being completely honest. Narcissists have a weak sense of who they are and are great at controlling other people. What if you told them the truth, no matter how painful it was? What if you told them without fear what they really needed to hear, even if it wasn't what they wanted to hear? Being brutally honest with narcissists is a strong way to find out what kind of person they are. You might see them fall apart when you tell them the cold, hard truth. Narcissists don't like hearing facts that hurt their inflated sense of self-importance, especially when those facts go against what they think about themselves. Be brave and say what other people might be afraid to say. Watch as their act falls apart when they are faced with the results of their deeds. Number eight, completely turning off. Narcissists get pleasure from making up a false sense of who they are. But what if you saw past their facade and found out how weak, meaningless, and useless they really are? By breaking through their veil of fantasy, you can take away their power. When you see how weak they really are and how empty their own sense of worth is, the game is over for them. They know that you can see through their act, which makes them look weak. They can't keep up the act that everything is okay any longer. Number nine, not caring. Ignoring that they exist can be a very effective way to make narcissists weak. You're giving them the fuel they need for their ego by not paying attention to them. This can drive them crazy and keep them from getting the approval they need so badly at the same time. It is worth the work, even though it is hard. Even if the quiet is unbearable, it is important to keep going. Believe me, the option is much harder than putting up with their attempts to control you. Don't pay attention to what they want and watch as their power slowly fades. 10. Get up and walk away. If you give up on them and walk away, it means that you are no longer connected to them in any way. It says, you don't matter anymore and I don't care. It means taking your attention, energy, care and worry off of their narcissistic supply. It means you don't want to talk to them anymore. I know this isn't a game or an easy job. I agree that it's not as easy as it sounds. But trust me when I say it is possible and very important for your health. I hope this conversation has taught you something useful. If it helped you, please consider clicking like and sharing the most important thing you learned. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when new videos come out all week. Remember what you're worth and how to set yourself free. Thanks for watching. See you in the next movie. 
Welcome back to our realm of empowerment and self-discovery. Are you ready to shake things up and embark on a journey of reclaiming your power? Today, we're delving into a captivating topic that's bound to ignite your curiosity. Mastering the art of becoming an enigma to the narcissist in your life. But wait, this isn't about stooping to their level or seeking vengeance. Absolutely not. It's about regaining control and finding serenity along the way. Before we plunge into the depths of this discussion, if you're resonating with our message and eager to seize the reins of your life, don't forget to tap that like button and hit subscribe. Your unwavering support fuels our mission. And hey, share this video with anyone in need of an empowering boost. Now, let's unravel the mysteries. Today, we're unveiling the clandestine techniques to becoming unpredictable to the narcissist, all while reclaiming your inherent power. Trust me, this is a journey you won't want to miss. Let's embark on this transformative odyssey together. Now, let's set the record straight. This isn't about becoming the antagonist in someone's narrative. It's about reclaiming the essence of who you are. For far too long, your sense of self has been overshadowed, manipulated and controlled. It's time to liberate yourself. Today, we're discussing the final step in your journey to self-reclamation. This is what will propel you forward and elevate your existence. Becoming a source of turmoil for someone isn't about seeking retribution, especially not in this context. Allow me to elucidate. Engaging in a battle of wits with a narcissist only perpetuates their game. They're accustomed to individuals attempting to outmaneuver them, and they relish in it. They provoke reactions because it feeds their ego and validates their control. But here's the kicker. Reacting means you're not staying true to yourself. You're allowing someone else's actions to dictate how you behave. That's not our style. What we advocate for is responding, not reacting. It's about crafting a response that aligns with your authenticity. So if someone says or does something unworthy of a reply, then don't give them the satisfaction. Don't let their actions pull your strings. Reclaim your authority and react in a manner that resonates with your core values. Pause and ask yourself, does this situation or statement truly warrant my engagement? This is how you establish boundaries. This is how you seize control and steer the narrative. Not in the manipulative manner of a narcissist, but in a manner that places you at the helm. You lead by staying true to yourself. Individuals of this ilk thrive on provocation. They relish the prospect of witnessing your instability or agitation because it reaffirms their perceived dominance over you. They're well versed in which buttons to push, reveling in the power they wield by doing so. You become their worst nightmare when your reactions become unpredictable. That's how you fortify your resilience. That's how you transform into someone they can't manipulate. Allow me to elucidate the psychology behind this phenomenon. When a narcissist strategizes their next move, it's akin to scripting a theatrical performance in their mind. They possess a clear vision of how they want events to unfold, meticulously orchestrating each detail. Their focus is unwavering, driven by the pursuit of a predetermined outcome. This is what I mean by control. They're acutely attuned and poised, relentlessly working towards their desired endgame. And you. You're left groping in the dark, clueless to their hidden agenda. Let's say they're itching to head out because they've got another person waiting in the wings, right? They're meticulously choreographing the entire day to ensure everything goes off without a hitch. They anticipate your barrage of questions and potential attempts to dissuade them. So, they embark on a mission to throw you off balance. They might kick off the day on a saccharine note, spending quality time with you, perhaps indulging in lunch or a leisurely shopping spree. Then, out of left field, they blindside you with the bombshell revelation that they need to step out. 
They're fully aware you won't be thrilled, so they might provoke a quarrel, inflict emotional distress, anything to distance themselves from you. It's as if they're pulling strings to manipulate your reactions because their desire to venture out reigns supreme. And ultimately, they'll storm off, leaving you emotionally battered and bruised. It's all about their desires, disregarding your thoughts entirely. That's just how they operate. They've already mapped out the end game and will manipulate every twist and turn to achieve it. It's a twisted game, but that's their modus operandi. So here's the scoop. When you become an enigma to a narcissist, it throws them off their game. They're unable to foresee your next move, and that's when you morph into their worst nightmare. This can be advantageous, particularly if you've extricated yourself from that toxic entanglement, but still find yourself needing to interact with them in some capacity. Or perhaps you're gearing up for a court battle with them, and you're aiming to keep them on their toes. Embracing unpredictability hands you the advantage every single time. Even if you're still ensnared in the relationship, adopting an unpredictable stance can serve as your compass toward an exit strategy. It's about maintaining emotional composure and treating the situation like a savvy business negotiation. That's the winning strategy, not resorting to complete silence or implementing the cold shoulder, though those tactics can occasionally yield results too. It's about outsmarting the game and altering your approach. If you discover yourself consistently reacting to the narcissist's provocations or rhetoric, you'll remain ensnared in a perpetual cycle of reaction, perpetually feeling like a helpless target. But there's a method to reclaim your sovereignty. Take a step back and respond rather than react. By doing so, you preserve your independence and morph into an unpredictable force against the narcissist, rendering yourself a nightmare for them. Share this video with anyone grappling with similar challenges. It has the potential to spark a significant transformation. Grasping the intricacies of narcissistic conduct is pivotal in replenishing your vitality and breaking free from the cycle of perpetual reaction. Refuse to remain entrenched in an emotional abyss any longer. It's time to seize back your authority. Like, subscribe, and share if this message resonates with you or someone you hold dear. And always remember, you're not traversing this path alone. Explore the free book and one-on-one -on -one consultation provided in the description for additional reinforcement and guidance. Navigating the aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist feels like wandering through uncharted territory, where emotional chaos and psychological manipulation reign supreme. Unraveling how narcissists navigate breakups offers insight into their intricate personas, unveiling a duality that swings between idealization and manipulation. As we peel back the layers of narcissistic dynamics, we uncover a landscape fraught with deceit and emotional upheaval, leaving behind wounds that cut deep. Whether you've initiated a period of no contact or found yourself blocked on every avenue of communication, the aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist can be emotionally tumultuous. Narcissists often take the lead in ending relationships, leaving their partners shattered and vulnerable. However, there are instances where you may summon the courage to end the relationship first. A bold choice, given the turbulent nature of involvement with a narcissist. Understanding the dynamics of a narcissistic breakup entails acknowledging their initial idealization of partners as saviors, only to realize later that no single individual can satisfy their insatiable cravings and desires. You are not their savior, they require extensive therapy and self-reflection to confront their inner demons. The dance of discarding or being discarded by a narcissist unveils a profound revelation about their psyche. Their deepest dread lies not in the breakup itself, but in your indifference. Like spoiled children denied their cherished plaything, narcissists crumble 
when met with apathy and disinterest. Your capacity to maintain emotional detachment and withhold the attention and validation they crave strikes a blow to their very essence, rendering them powerless and inconsequential. Understanding the aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist is pivotal for personal healing and empowerment. It demands a deliberate effort to navigate emotions and responses amidst their manipulative maneuvers. Skilled at shifting focus and diverting attention, narcissists often seek new wellsprings of admiration to prop up their fragile ego. By standing firm in your determination and refusing to engage with their manipulative overtures, you reclaim your independence and disrupt their grip on your life. Closure, an alien concept to narcissists, becomes an elusive dream in the aftermath of a breakup. They resist granting closure, for it signifies surrendering control and acknowledging defeat. Instead, they thrive on uncertainty and emotional upheaval, leaving their former partners struggling with unanswered questions and lingering emotions. In such scenarios, embracing a period of silence and complete detachment can act as a powerful antidote, depriving narcissists of the attention and validation they desperately crave. The role of social media in post-breakup interactions is paramount. Narcissists often resort to covert strategies like creating fake profiles or sending friend requests from dubious accounts to maintain a semblance of control over their ex-partners. By taking a hiatus from social media and minimizing online interactions, individuals can safeguard their emotional well-being and thwart narcissists' access to their personal lives. Employing the grey rock technique, characterized by maintaining a neutral and unresponsive demeanor in the face of provocation, can be highly effective in dealing with narcissists. By refusing to engage with their manipulative tactics, you undermine their ability to elicit emotional responses and diminish their hold over your life. This deliberate emotional disconnection acts as a formidable barrier against further manipulation and dominance. It's crucial to acknowledge that recovering from a narcissistic relationship is a voyage demanding patience, fortitude and self-kindness. By drawing wisdom from various sources, whether secular or spiritual, individuals can deepen their comprehension of narcissistic dynamics and cultivate inner resilience and strength. Ultimately, not only is thriving post-breakup with a narcissist achievable, but it's also imperative for reclaiming personal sovereignty and forging ahead with assurance and self-possession. To summarize, navigating the aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist demands bravery, endurance, and a readiness to confront uncomfortable realities. Through comprehending the complexities of narcissistic conduct and employing strategies for self-preservation and empowerment, individuals can mend the emotional wounds inflicted by these tumultuous relationships. Remember to prioritize self-nurturing and seek solace from trusted confidants, family, and mental health experts as you embark on your journey toward healing and personal evolution. In the grand theatre of the narcissist's mind, they perform a dazzling spectacle, convincing you of their invincibility, their dominion over all, and their immunity to pain. Yet behind the glittering facade lies a truth far removed from their carefully crafted illusion. In reality, they harbour vulnerabilities, delicate threads waiting to unravel at the slightest touch. And when these tender spots are prodded, they ignite a tempest of emotions, casting them adrift in a sea of turmoil and fury. Today, our quest is to venture into the labyrinthine depths of this subject, to unearth the hidden truths and shed light upon the enigmatic nature of the narcissistic psyche. Greetings, dear audience, and welcome back to our enthralling saga. Prepare yourselves as we unveil five cunning stratagems to sting the narcissist, to puncture their veneer of invulnerability and expose the frailty that lurks beneath. 
But before we embark on this odyssey, a gentle reminder to ensure you're firmly ensconced in our realm. Subscribe to our channel, heed the siren call of the bell icon, and join us on this exhilarating voyage. Through these ingenious methods, we aim to unravel the labyrinthine corridors of the narcissist's mind, to dissect their intricate machinations and uncover the chinks in their seemingly impenetrable armour. It's a riveting exploration into the juxtaposition of power and fragility, of strength and vulnerability. So stay tuned as we unveil these potent techniques that promise to rattle the very foundation of the narcissist's world, laying bare the vulnerabilities that lie beneath their facade of invincibility. In the intricate dance with a narcissist, it's vital to master the art of non-reaction. Picture them as a child trapped within the guise of an adult, wielding the physical prowess of maturity but shackled by emotional immaturity. Their demeanour often mirrors that of a petulant child, steeped in hostility, irrationality and a skewed perception of reality. Thus, when faced with their theatrix or tantrums, the wisest course of action is to disengage entirely. The key lies in withholding any response to their attempts to ensnare you in their chaos. Whether it entails gracefully exiting the stage, indulging in a soothing ablution, embarking on a tranquil stroll, or immersing oneself in a personal endeavour, the goal remains steadfast. To tune out their cacophony, ignoring the narcissist strikes a blow directly at their fragile ego. By maintaining composure amidst their storm, precisely when they seek your attention most fervently, you inflict a profound wound. Be it their endeavour to provoke a verbal skirmish, elicit understanding, or drag you into their realm of discord, your serene detachment serves as a potent weapon. By either departing the scene or unequivocally condemning their actions, you erect a formidable barrier. This refusal to engage not only safeguards your serenity, but also broadcasts a resolute message. You refuse to dignify their baseless accusations and irrational antics. Thus, you delineate a clear demarcation between reality and their distorted perceptions, effectively signalling your unwillingness to entertain their delusions. In the intricate dance with a narcissist, Holding your ground is paramount, especially when they attempt to swindle you out of your hard-earned money. Narcissists wield their reality-distorting prowess to reshape your perceptions, beliefs and emotions to fit their narrative. It's crucial to cling tightly to your own truth amidst their psychological manipulations. Respond with unwavering clarity, asserting, your thoughts are your own, and I respect that. However, my experiences and memories are uniquely mine and do not align with your portrayal. Once you've firmly stated your position, it's best to disengage from the situation. This approach strikes a significant blow to the narcissist's ego, as their primary aim is to elicit a reaction from you. They relish the notion of controlling your thoughts and emotions, as it bolsters their fragile sense of superiority compensating for their deep-seated insecurities. When faced with their gaslighting and deceitful tactics, it's crucial to discern the emotions they seek to evoke in you. Acknowledge these feelings but refuse to let them dictate your response. Reject their attempts at manipulation and assert the boundaries between your reality and theirs. Confront them with the declaration, your beliefs do not define my reality. While you're entitled to your opinions, my truth remains unchanged and holds paramount importance to me. This assertion not only rebuffs their efforts to undermine your self-perception, but also deals a blow to their ego by stripping away the control they crave. By steadfastly asserting the disparity between your version of events and their distorted narrative, while maintaining emotional composure, you demonstrate that their deceptive tactics hold no sway over you. In the tumultuous world of narcissists, chaos reigns supreme. Their inner landscape resembles a battleground, 
with ceaseless conflicts raging within. Unable to quell the turmoil within, they seek to mirror this chaos in the world around them, craving disorder in every facet of life, be it mental or otherwise. This is where your role becomes pivotal. Your task is to embody positivity and order, standing as a bastion of stability amidst their storm of chaos. Refuse to succumb to their narrative that life should be a disheveled mess. Instead, take decisive steps towards improvement. Whether it's tidying up your living space, pursuing coveted career opportunities, or furthering your education, your actions will confound their expectations. Narcissists recoil from stability, for it lays bare the stark disparity between reality and their facade. By embracing stability, you not only defy their expectations, but also signal your unwillingness to be ensnared in their chaos. As you forge a path of organization and clarity in your life, you deal a profound blow to the narcissist's ego. Your newfound sense of order inflicts a narcissistic injury so potent that it forces them to reassess their attempts at control. They're confronted with the undeniable truth. Their grip on you is slipping as you reclaim your autonomy. Your life is firmly in your hands, beyond the reach of their influence. It's a declaration that neither they nor anyone else can dictate the course of your existence. Harnessing the narcissist's obsession with appearances can be a powerful tool in your arsenal. It's widely understood that narcissists invest heavily in cultivating a favorable image to the outside world. Their persona is carefully crafted to exude kindness, charisma, and other desirable traits, driven not merely by preference, but by a deep-seated need for validation and acceptance, often referred to as narcissistic supply. By strategically leveraging their image consciousness, insecurities, and the facade they strive to maintain, you can effectively maneuver them into a corner. Consider a scenario where you find yourself at odds with a narcissist in a legal dispute, perhaps a court case where they are resistant to your demands. This presents a prime opportunity to exploit their preoccupation with their public image. Initiate by coaxing them into agreeing to statements that bolster the positive perception they wish to project. For instance, you might prompt them to acknowledge prioritizing their children's needs over their own or professing to prioritize their children's